so column chromatography is divided into three types first that is ion exchange chromatography second one size exclusion chromatography and third that is affinity chromatography so first that is ion exchange ion exchange chromatography ion exchange chromatography second that is size exclusion chromatography size exclusion chromatography and third one that is affinity chromatography affinity chromatography affinity chromatography ion exchange size exclusion and affinity chromatography these are the three types of column chromatography that are used in the separation of protein so first that is ion exchange chromatography ion exchange chromatography so through ion exchange chromatography the proteins are separated on the basis of their charge so the four types of protein large net positive charged protein large net positive charge second one is net positive charge protein third net negative charge protein and fourth large net negative charge protein large net negative charge protein so these are the four types of proteins and the these types of proteins are separated in ion exchange chromatography so this is the column and the column is filled with a synthetic polymer called as resin so now the column is filled with so this orange color denoted synthetic polymer called as resin so these are the resins and column is filled with resins resins are surrounded by charged groups so the opposite charged protein attracted or uh, or you can say interact with the opposite charge resin so in this case we take a example of negative charge so in this case the resin are surrounded by negative charged group that is why the resins are called as cation exchanger or you can say cation exchange chromatography so resins are so this is the magnified magnifications of this particular part and then you can you can see that the resin beads are surrounded by negative group in case of cation exchange chromatography now this this is the protein mixtures so the protein mixtures like large negative charge net positive net negative charge large net positive charge and net positive charge so 
here the proteins are present the all the mixtures of the four types of protein so four types of proteins are present now the large positive charge proteins interact with the negative charge resin groups so the large not only large net positive charge protein but also net positive charge protein also interact with the negative resin or the resin with the negative groups so these are the resin beads negative or you can say cation exchanger the resin with the negative group called as cation exchanger so these are the resins so column is filled with resin now uh so this is a reservoir on the upper side the buffer solutions so the ph and the concentration of the salt is very important in the interactions of the charge proteins with the resin beads so ph and salt concentration surrounding surrounding the solution in the mobile phase is very important in interactions of the protein with the resin now so net negative charge or net large net negative charge uh, elute earlier than the positive charge because the positive charge proteins are you can say the migrations of the positive charged protein are retarded by by the interactions with the negative group resin on the other hand the negative charged proteins are eluted earlier because the negative charged proteins cannot able to form a bond uh, or interact with the negative resin that is why the negative charged proteins elute earlier in the case of cation exchange chromatography so column is filled with synthetic polymer called resin as we know the column is filled with synthetic polymer called as resin resin with negative charge group resin with negative charge group called cation exchanger resin with positive charged positive charged group called anionic exchanger anionic exchanger so cationic exchanger and anionic exchanger now the fourth point fourth point says that positive so positive charged positive charge protein interact with positive charge protein interact with negative charged resin so positive charge protein interact with negative charge resin positive charged proteins 
positive charge proteins are retarded or the migrations of the positive charge proteins are retarded by this interaction with negative charge resin negative charge so retarded by this interaction positive charge proteins are retarded by this interactions with the negative charge resin in case of cation exchange chromatography negative charge negative charged protein negative charge protein does not negative charge protein does not interact with negative interact with negative resin moves slower so negative charge protein does not interact with negative resin and moves slower and elute earlier negative charge protein does not interact with negative resin moves slower and elute earlier so these are the